the late 90s, it got to the point where commodity prices went up, milk prices went down, and it doesn't take a genius to realize that red numbers aren't good. And so um, we started bottling our own milk in June of 03, trying to add value back to the products that we were creating here. We've been very, very fortunate. The customers of Kansas City and St. Joe have really taken to our products, and we've grown our herd size to closer to 500 from 70 in 2003. Numbers like those attest to the great success this family operation has found, making something old feel new again. And that includes home delivery. But as CEO of the agribusiness startup Terramanis, Matt Chateau also has some other stats he's excited to throw down. Our numbers from our research, long-standing research, is that we can see an increase in yield by mid-30%. We saw about a 72% increase in yield on the test plot that we did with Red Gold. It was these Indiana tomatoes that helped convince a Missouri farm boy that this could be a game changer for everyone who grows things. Very nice. And the surprising tech behind it? A plastic wheel or a series of them. You look at a lot of the inventions that have really changed the world or done different things to make life easier for folks or better, and you know, if you really look at them, a lot of them are very simplistic. Simple, maybe. But science seems to back the notion that soil consolidation instead of compaction makes lots of good things happen. It increases surface area, allowing for the soil to eat up much quicker, allowing for better growing conditions. It allows for the holding and then better penetration of water, so therefore you're not having the runoff that you're typically seeing on a flat field. And then with all of that in mind, it provides additional air exposure, oxygen exposure to the root system. In terms of soil conditioning, you might think of it as a waffle versus a pancake. And you know which one wins. We want waffles, not pancakes. Chateau holds high hopes for the Terra Star disc. Not just for the way it can boost the American farmer's bottom line, but also for growers around the globe facing the fearsome specter of food insecurity. Typically, when someone looks at sustainability, they look at they're giving up something on the other side, right? Whether it's efficiency or outcome or output or whatever else it may be. And the great thing about TerraStar through the TerraManus company is they work together. We can increase your crop yield, but at the same time, we reduce the amount of nitrates you need to put in the ground. We reduce the amount of water that you need to irrigate with. And so it really makes it easy to embrace sustainability. I've always worked with products that either taste great or work great. And so the thought process on the milk company side is, let the product sell itself. Our perspective is exactly the same with, with Terramanus. So we have demo units in Indiana, we have demo units in California, and um, we believe very, very strongly that once farmers see this in their field, whether it's one row or whether it's they're doing a whole field with it, they're going to see the benefit of this. 